Hi children. Today we are going to learn seventh class, second chapter, fractions, decimals, and rational numbers. Already we know what is mean of fractions. What is the meaning of decimals? And also what is the meaning of the rational numbers? Have done the videos based on these fractions, decimals, and rational numbers also. If at all you did not see, see those videos. Links I will keep in the description. You have you can watch it. So directly, let us enter into the exercise problems now. The first week, compute the exercise, express the results in the mixed fraction. That means, so solve these problems and express the result in the mixed fractions. So here there are six internal questions. Let me solve some of these. Here, two plus three by four. Two plus three by four. How can we solve? Two plus three by four. The result will be two whole three by four only. Two whole parts plus three by four. When you add it, you get two whole three by four. It is a mixed fraction itself. Okay, let's go for second one. Second one. Seven by nine plus one by three. Let us see. In this kind of questions, you can take a cross multiplication or not. LCM. LCM is little. You feel difficult, so go for cross multiplication. First, you multiply this two down side. Nine into three, that is twenty-seven. Then diagonally, this one first, right to left. Three seven is twenty-one plus nine one is nine. That you get here thirty. Twenty-one plus nine thirty by twenty-seven. As we can multiply, that means we can cancel this by the three table. Three ten is thirty. Three nine is twenty-seven. As we got here. 10 by 9. This 10 by 9 we can change into mixed fraction that here 10 is divided by 9. 9 was a 9, and we got remainder here. So how we need to write the mixed fraction? First, this is a whole part. Okay. From there we have to come here. This is numerator part of the fraction, and this is denominator part of the fraction. One whole, one by nine. This is the answer. Okay. Let us see the third one. Here one minus four by seven. See one minus four by seven. This also you can directly write. Or this one I will write as one by one and do the same process. Here one into seven is seven cross multiplication. Seven into one is seven minus one into four is four. That equal to seven minus four is three by seven. Three by seven. As you can write here three by seven. Then here. Let us go for the next fourth one. That uh, next here two whole two by three plus one by two. Then then here let us we get uh, we will change this uh, mixed fraction into improper fraction once. How how we can change? We have to multiply these two terms, denominator into whole part. Then we have to add the numerator and write the same denominator in the fraction. Okay, let us see here. Three to the six. Three into two, six plus two, eight. Eight by same denominator three plus one by two. Now here we can take the cross multiplication. Let us multiply. Three to the six and two eight is sixteen plus three one is three. Three one is three. As You get here sixteen plus six is nineteen. Nineteen by six. This nineteen by six. Here we go. Three six is eighteen, and we get one. That means here we can write this three whole. From there we have to come here one by six, and this is a mixed fraction. This is improper fraction. Improper fraction cannot be changed into mixed fraction. Only sorry, this is a proper fraction. Proper fraction cannot be changed into improper uh, mixed fraction. Only improper fraction can be changed into mixed fraction, or mixed fraction can be changed into improper fraction. That is the thing we can do it. And see the fifth one is that five by eight minus one by six. Okay, let us take the cross multiplication. Eight six is forty-eight. Six five is thirty minus eight one is eight. And see what here thirty minus eight is twenty-two by forty-eight. This we can cancel in the two terms. See two ones are two ones are here. Two to the four, two four is eight. As you got eleven by twenty-four. 
11 by 24 is a proper fraction. As we cannot do it anything here. For the proper fraction, cannot be changed into the mixed fraction. And here, 2 whole, 2 by 3, plus 3 whole, 1 by 2. How can we find out the answer of this question? Let us see here. Simple. First, we change this mixed fraction into improper fraction. How can we change the mixed fraction into improper fraction? I told you that first we need to multiply these two. 3 to the 6. Add this numerator. 3 to the 6 plus 2, 8. 8 by the same denominator, 3. Denominator into whole part plus numerator by the same denominator. Plus here. Denominator into whole part. 2, 3 is a 6 plus numerator. 6 plus 1 is 7 by the same denominator is 2. Now you can take the class multiplication. First down 2. This 2 we need to multiply. 3 to the 6. Then diagonal numbers. These two numbers. 2 adds a 16. Here there is a place to write the place. Next to these two numbers. 3 7 is a 21. As you can add it here. You get here 37 by 6. 16 plus 21, 37 by 6. Here we can divide this 37 by 6. 6 is a 36. We get the remainder 1. So here 6 is the whole part and 1 by 6 here. 6 whole, 1 by 6. And that is the answer. So I hope you understood this first bit. And second bit is that see, arrange the following in ascending order or not. Okay, ascending order. Arrange the following in the ascending order. If you know the ascending order, you will also know the descending order. So I am not going to teach this bit ascending order or descending order of the fraction because uh, already I have done a video on the ascending order and descending order of the fractions. Already I have done a video on ascending order and descending order of the fraction. You have to watch that video. That video link I will keep in the description. You can go there and watch the video. And see, the third question is this. If you have a picture book, it's a better. See that. What is that? Check in the following square whether in this square the sum of the numbers in each row and each column along with the diagonal is same or not. So, what do we need to do it? In each row, in each row and each column and diagonally, the sum will get same or not. In each row, let us see in the rows and columns here. The third solution, let us see here. First, let us add the row. Let us complete the rows first. What are the rows here? Let us first add it. 6 by 30 plus 13 by 30 plus 2 by 13 because we need to add check whether in the square whether in this square the sum of the numbers sum of the numbers in the sense we need to add these numbers let us add what we get of these numbers sum let us see all these are like fractions the addition or subtraction of like fractions in the sense it is very easy write the same denominator first and write as it is the numerator parts 6 plus 13 plus 2. As we will get here, here 6 plus 13 that is 19, 19 plus 2 that is 21 by 13. In the first row, we got to say, let us see in the second row that is 3 by 13 plus 7 by 13 plus 11 by 13 that equal to 13. The same, these are like fractions having same denominator. So write the numerator as 7 plus 3 plus 7, 10 plus 11. That is 21 by 13 again. Then let us see the three rows we need to check. 12 by 13 plus 1 by 13 plus 8 by 13. That is equal to simple 13. 12 plus 1, 13, 13 plus 8. That is 21 by 13. So row we have completed. Now let us go for column. Okay, let's go for the columns. So, columns are that. See, these are the columns like 6 by 13 plus 3 by 13 plus 12 by 13. So, what do you got? Here, the denominator will be 30. 6 plus 3, 9 plus 12. 9 plus 12 is 21 by 13 again. First column also given as C. Then, second column 13 by 30 plus 7 by 13 plus 1 by 13 that equal to 13 plus 7 20 plus 1 21 by 13 it's also given the same thing next the third column 2 
by 30 plus 1 by 30 plus 8 by 13 that is equal to this is 30 12 plus 1 30 30 plus 8 that is 21 by 13 the third column also given a same thing next we go for the diagonal okay diagonals let us see the diagonal there are two diagonals these are called the diagonals see this or called the diagonals the first diagonal 6 by 13 plus 7 by 13 plus 8 by 13 that is equal to the same denominator 30 6 plus 7 13 13 plus 8 is give us 21 by 30 next the second diagonal here uh, 2 by 13 plus 7 by 13 plus 12 by 30 here 2 plus 7 plus 12 by 13 2 plus 7 is 9 9 plus 12 is 21 by 13 yes the sum of the the given box in this square the sum of the rows and columns and diagonals are given the same answer that is 21 by 13 so this is what answer actually okay let's go for the remaining questions in this fourth question fifth question sixth and seventh one the remaining four questions are left in this let us solve the four questions Fourth question. A rectangle sheet has paper. Okay. A rectangular paper sheet length is given. Length of the a rectangular sheet paper. Rectangular sheet paper. L is equal to what? 5 hold 2 by 3 centimeters and width why in the sense width or breadth okay why of a rectangular sheet paper that is denoted by b y is denoted by b that is 3 hold 1 by 5 centimeters find the perimeter of the rectangular paper sheet suppose this is a rectangular paper sheet this length is given and width is given how can we find out the perimeter of the rectangle? Perimeter in this is sum of the all the sides. As we know the perimeter of rectangle formula 2 of L plus B. That formula we are going to be used here. So, first of all, let us change this mixed fraction into improper fraction. 3 5 is 15 plus 2, 17 by 3, and 3 5 is 15 plus 1, 16 by 5 centimeters and centimeters. Okay, let us find out the perimeter of the rectangular sheet. Perimeter of rectangular sheet paper equal to what is the formula 2 into L plus B here 2 into L L value is what 7 by 3 plus B value is what 16 by 5 centimeters ok let us find out first 2 into let us do the cross multiplication of these two first 3 5 are 15 and let us go for here yes 17 5 are 85 50 plus 35 85 plus here 16 3 is 16 to the 32 and 48 centimeter let us add this two again here 85 plus 48 30 1 carry 12 plus 13, 133. 2 into 133. 133 by 5 centimeter. Here 2 into 133 that is 266 by 5 centimeters. But it is an improper fraction now. Let us change it into mixed fraction that is 266 will divide by 5. Here 5 5 is a 25. The 1 is that remainder. And bring down this 6 at down. 5 3 is a 15. We get 1. So here we can write 53 whole 1 by 5 centimeter. This is the perimeter of the paper sheet. Having length is 5 whole 2 by 3 centimeter. And wide or the breadth is 3 whole 1 by 5 centimeter. Then we have another 3 questions in this. 
exercise let us solve that problem also here fifth question the recipe requires 3 whole 1 by 4 cups of flour radha has only 1 whole 3 by 8 cups of flour how many more cups of flour does she need it that means a recipe is requires some quantity actually some uh, required a some quantity but radha has only less quantity how much more quantity she required that means how much more flour she required suppose to make a chapati 10 chapatis to make a 10 chapatis we need 4 cups of flour suppose but radha has only 2 cups of flour so how many more cups of flour she required to make 10 chapatis that means again 2 more cups of flour is required yes actually need 4 cups of 4 cups of flour but she have only 2 cups of flour remaining 2 cups of flour she required in the same way we need to do this okay a recipe requires how many cups of flour the recipe recipe requires total 3 whole 1 by 4 cups of flour cups of flour that means see she need completely this much cups of flour is required but radha has only has only how much cups of flour she have one whole 3 by 8 cups of flour flour is in spin okay flour how much more that she need actually so she need radha need again
find out how much course content is left so abdul is preparing for exam he have to complete the book complete book but he have completed only this part how many pages are left suppose there are 400 pages in the book he completed 300 pages how many pages left again 100 pages so so from the complete book he have completed 300 so left over we can find out so here also the total content so let's find out first how much total content is there so abdul is preparing for the exam now so abdul is completed actually total content is total course of content total course content total is a one course total one book like one course from this abdul is completed abdul has completed abdul has completed how much course of content he completed that 5 by 12 of course of content content he completed Okay, 5 by 12 of the content he completed. Then how much is left? Okay, the left content is the left. How much course content is the left course content equal to complete one course from this he completed only 5 by 12 of the course. This one we can write as a 1 by 1. If there is no denominator, we can write as a 1 denominator minus 5 by 2. Here we can do the cross multiplication method again to get a final answer. 1 into 12 is 12. 12 ones are 12 minus 5. 12 minus 5 is 7 by 12. Okay, 7 by 12 of the course is left again. Only 5 by 12 of the course is completed. Okay, here see, total is 12 pages. He completed 7 pages. Sorry, total, here 5 by 12 is completed. Total, 12 pages are there. For example, 12 pages are there, for example. 5 pages he completed. More 7 pages, he need to be complete out of 12. Simple. Then he will get a complete course. It will complete a complete course. That is the easy method to be removed. Here the total content is 12. Suppose, let us see, there are 12 pages. From the 12 pages, 5 pages are completed. So, to complete the course, you need to study again 7 pages. That means 7 by 12. That is what we got here. Okay. Next, there is a one more word problem here. Very important one. And last one of this exercise. 7th one solution. <coughs> For this, I need to draw a, a diagram here. Let me complete this diagram. Then there is a A, B, C, D, E. Here B, C, D, E is a rectangle and A, B, E is a triangle. This you can identify. In the rectangle, opposite sides are equal. So, the single one, these two sides are equal and these two sides are equal. He has given us some measurements also here of the triangle AB equal to 3 hole 1 by 3 centimeter and BE is equal to 2 hole 1 by 5 centimeter and here AB is equal to 4 hole 2 by 3 centimeter and here this DE equal to 1 hole 2 by 3 centimeter and the unknown terms like a this side is what because these two sides are equal so we get here one hole 2 by 3 centimeter this also and what is the cd cd also will get the same 2 hole 1 by 5 centimeter so we know the everything here in the triangle we know the three sides of the triangle and we know the all the sides of a rectangles also so let us see find the perimeter we need to find out the perimeter of triangle A, B, E. We need to find out the perimeter of triangle A, B, E. Perimeter in the same sum of all the sides is known as a perimeter. Sum of the all the sides of a polygon is known as a perimeter. So, 
here we need to find out the perimeter of the triangle and the rectangle bc de in the figure which figure has greater perimeter and by how much which perimeter that means which figure has a greater perimeter either triangle perimeter is more or rectangle perimeter is more that we need to find out okay let us find out the perimeter of the triangle first then after perimeter of the rectangle okay and then the perimeter of the triangle perimeter of triangle abe so sum of the all the sides no let us add it that what is the perimeter let us add first 3 whole 1 by 3 plus 2 whole 1 by 5 plus 4 whole 2 by 3 centimeter completely this all will be in the bracket these are the centimeters let us write first let us change into improper fractions 3 3 is a 9 plus 1 10 by 3 plus 2 5 is a 10 plus 1 11 by 5 plus 12 plus 2 14 by 3 okay these are the centimeters let us find out now here we need to take the lcm in this case so what will be the lcm of 3 comma 5 comma 3 will pass only the 3 table 3 1 is a 3 5 is a and 3 3 only the lcm lcm equal to 3 15 so we got the lcm 15 only then there is a two fractions we can go for the cross multiplication then there is a more than two fractions we have to go for lcm that there is no other chance okay let us see lcm also very easy see 3 how much the 15 3 how much the 15 3 5 15 here 3 Five is a fifteen. This five into numerator five times a fifty. Simple. And this LCM method also we can do in the cross multiplication. If you don't interest in the cross multiplication, the same thing what I am doing here we have to do it. We have to take a LCM of the denominators and follow the method what I am doing. Five how many is a fifteen? Five three is a fifteen. Five three is a fifteen. This three into numerator three into eleven is thirty three plus. Here because here there is a plus. And three how many is a fifteen? Three five is a fifteen. This five into fourteen. Five into fourteen is a seventy. Yes, five forty is a seventy. Now this we got it. Same thing. That is equal to. Let us see here. Fifty <coughs> plus seventy. One twenty. One twenty plus thirty three. One fifty three by fifteen centimeters. So okay, this is a perimeter of the triangle. Therefore. The perimeter, perimeter of triangle ABE is equal to this. Okay. Now the perimeter of the rectangle. Therefore, the perimeter of rectangle. What is the rectangle name? BCDE. So we know that what is the length here? This is the length. L equal to two half. Two whole one by five centimeter and breadth B equal to what here one whole two by three. You have the formula of perimeter of rectangle is two into L plus B. You know the L value and B value. Let us substitute that. Okay, two into L value is what? L value that is two whole one by five plus B value one whole two by three. Okay, centimeter that will write as centimeter C. Okay, two into this. Mixed fractions we change into the improper fraction. Two five is a ten plus one, eleven by five plus three one is a three plus two, that is five by three centimeters. Okay, here also you can take the cross multiplication or not the LCM. Okay, I'll go for the LCM here also. Three and five LCM is fifteen. Okay, five how many is a fifteen? Five three is a fifteen. Five three is a fifteen. This three into eleven thirty three plus Three five is a fifteen. Three five is a fifteen. This five into five that is twenty five. So that is equal to two into here five plus three eight and two plus three is five fifty eight by fifteen centimeter. Again that is equal to that's two into fifty eight. Two into fifty eight fifty fifty hundred and one hundred sixteen sixteen one carry five is a Eleven one hundred sixteen by fifteen centimeter, and see that here we got the perimeter of the triangle is one fifty three by fifteen. 
here the perimeter of rectangle is equal to what 116 by 15 cm here 153 and here 116 153 by 15 perimeter of triangle 116 by 15 perimeter of rectangle is 153 is greater or 116 by 15 is greater 116 is less 153 is more so here we can write therefore the perimeter of triangle abe is greater greater than symbol then the perimeter of meter of what rectangle perimeter of rectangle so the perimeter of triangle is more than the perimeter of rectangle by how much by how much here 153 by 15 minus 116 by 15 cm if you subtract you get that 15 here 153 minus 116 by 15 okay let us subtract here so that we get answer 153 minus 116 Yeah, 13 minus 6 is 7. Okay, then here 14. 14 minus 7 is 3. Then 37 by 15 centimeter. 37 by 15 centimeter are not the 37 by 15. If you change into mixed fraction, it becomes see 2 whole 15 to the 30 plus 7. 2 whole 7 by 15 centimeters. That means here the perimeter of triangle is more than the perimeter of rectangle. How much it is more? Two holes, seven by 15 centimeter is more than the uh, perimeter of the rectangle. That means here perimeter of triangle is two holes, seven by 15 centimeters more than the perimeter of rectangle. So here I hope you understood this problem very well. Are not see once again what I have done. The perimeter of triangle sum of this all the sides. Then the perimeter of the rectangle two into L plus B. This is L and this is B. So two into L plus B. So the perimeter of triangle I got 153 by 15 centimeter. The perimeter of rectangle I got 116 by 15 centimeter. See 153 by 15, 116 by 15, 15 and 15. Denominators are same. So compare the numerators. 153 is greater or 116? 153 is greater. So The perimeter of triangle is greater by how much? 153 by 15 minus 116 by 15. If you do it, 37 by 15, 15 centimeter will get. 37 by 15 is improper fraction. Change into the mixed fraction that two holes 7 by 15 centimeter will get. So that means the area of triangle, sorry, the perimeter of triangle is two holes 7 by 15 centimeters more than the perimeter of rectangle. I hope you understood this exercise number one. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.